To the Honourable Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation, Honourable Rosie Akbar. Permanent Secretary uh, to the Ministry of Industry, Change and Tourism. Understand the representatives of the Indonesian Embassy, uh, senior government officials, women entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, Bolvinaga, and a very good afternoon to you all. It's my pleasure to be here this afternoon to hand over Fijian crafted uh, licenses to 43 entrepreneurs who have successfully met the criteria and are producing excellent quality arts and crafts. Following this presentation, the permanent, uh, the permanent secretary has said the total number of crafters licenses Fijian crafted brand will be 180. Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely proud to share the statistics with you of the licensed crafters. 84% are women. Women, you have definitely have proven beyond any doubt that you are the backbone of the Fijian economy. The Fijian Made by Fijian campaign was launched in 2011 by the Honorable Prime Minister. As at that time, there was a clear and unfulfilled need for a unified national campaign to give Fijian products the platform they deserve to stand out in the marketplace. It was also important to instill national pride in all Fijians to believe in the quality of the things that we make and grow in Fiji. It was just a matter of giving our products a little boost with a strong brand that people recognize, trust, and have confidence that their money is supporting local families and businesses. The national campaign has over the past four years raised the profile of our Fijian-made products both domestically and regionally. And now it is time that we went international through branding and marketing strategies. The Fijian-made products carry the Fijian-made logos, which visibly distinguish these from the imported products. Through this campaign, we have been able to create a resilient, strong economy from within. We have today registered 1,322 products belonging to 362 crafters and companies. And I'm pleased to state that 90% of the licensed companies are micro and small medium enterprises. Similar campaigns, ladies and gentlemen, have been run in countries such as Australia, New Zealand, and the United States of America, India, and Pacific Island countries, amongst many others. What sets our campaign apart from these countries is that there has been an, this has been an initiative of the Biden Marama government, however with strong backing from the private sector and Fijian consumers. Given the strong public-private partnership that exists, I'm confident of its continued success and the future sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, through this campaign we have provided our entrepreneur a strong brand to market their products. And we have also provided the smallest of small entrepreneurs the ability to elevate their businesses through the micro and small business drive. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to point out again that through this grant scheme, we have to date assisted 2,118 entrepreneurs, out of which a significant number are women. And you should be proud of that. Women who are leading from the front. Women who are taking the risk of doing business to support themselves and their families. Out of the 782 women entrepreneurs, 75 run their own handicraft businesses, while 51 run a sewing business. And once we have completed the disbursement of support to all the successful recipients, the number of women in business will increase, thus making the success rate of the micro and small business grant scheme quite high. These women, ladies and gentlemen, will be provided the necessary business development training to ensure that their businesses grow in a sustainable manner. And our intention is to have more of these women entrepreneurs absorbed into the formal sector. Ladies and gentlemen, we strongly believe that a strong partnership between the ministries and other stakeholders is the key to economic prosperity. Our partnership with the Women's Expo began last year, and it has gained momentum this year as the participants to the Expo have gone through a quality test done by the Fiji Arts Council in conjunction with the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. The Women's Expo is a great avenue through which our women, especially at the grassroots level, are given the opportunity to showcase their creativity, skills, and contribute to the preservation of our culture and tradition. Such expos provide a platform for women entrepreneurs to gain hands-on business experience through their daily sales of their products and at the same time enable them to acquire the necessary marketing skills to sell their products. 
The Fijian government's overall vision is to empower the grassroots community to ensure continued sustainable economic growth. And programs such as the National Women's Expo and the Fijian Made by Fijian Branding are vital enablers to this growth. That is why it is critical that the two ministries work together to empower and elevate women entrepreneurs to another level, capitalizing on the synergies that exist between our two ministries for the benefit of our Fijian women, and to link them to markets and to ensure sustainable growth. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian Made by Fijian campaign has successfully achieved that for 60 licensed Fijian crafters. These crafters today have well-established markets as they directly sell to renowned retail stores and hotels in Fiji. This has created a new stream of income that these individuals did not have, and they are earning approximately, on average, $2,000 a month, which is an injection of approximately $1.4 million into the Fijian economy. To all of you that would be receiving your licenses today, being connected to these retail stores and hotels in Fiji, would be a great boost for your current businesses. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to acknowledge our partnership with the Fiji Arts Council and their continued technical support in assessing applications for the Fijian crafted brand. It requires a concerted effort from all Fijians to promote and develop our authentic artifacts with passion and pride to enable us to preserve our culture, tradition and heritage for generations to come. We need this effort in also lifting our micro and small businesses to a level where they can sustain themselves and provide a livelihood for their families and communities. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I was addressing just a couple of days ago, whether the Honourable Minister attended with me, I was addressing the Women in Business Annual General Meeting, which is an organization made up of successful women entrepreneurs just like you. I have laid down a challenge to these 71 women executives that they need to become mentors to women in micro and small business enterprises to assist them to excel in their respective fields of work. I'm very proud also to be at the helm of a ministry that is made up of 52% of women and 78% of those women are in senior management. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate all the 43 artisans who will be receiving their licenses today and in doing so would like to encourage all women entrepreneurs to get licensed and to be part of the Fiji and Made by Fiji and campaign. Thank you very much.